folks. Uh, you can see this it looks like a little sticker stuck to the side of my filter. I believe it's a little price tag off one of these um, fish food cans. Well, I was getting ready to stick my hand in there, and usually when I approach the tank, all the fish come to one side thinking they're going to get food. Well, before I could, my hand could even get wet, I got bit. One of these perch came up and bit my finger. <laughs> it was freaky. Freaked me out, man. I, I couldn't believe it. I just went over here. <laughs> Don't stick your hand in the aquarium, folks. I might have to go get them some night crawlers, I think, maybe tonight. They're hungry. Well, I thought I'd just make a real quick video. Um, I, I posted um, on Facebook today about my uh, one of these perch taking a snap and bite at my index finger. It got me. There's a little bit of a, a, a sticker down here on this um, filter, and I was trying to get it out. Before I could even get my hand in, you know, one of these perch came up and snipped my finger. So anyway... Posted that on Facebook. My brother, smart aleck brother, uh, came back and said, you should try feeding them every once in a while. Well, I do feed them, Jack. Come on, I feed them every day. These guys, though, they're super hungry. They, they like minnows and they like uh, night crawlers. Um, so we went to Lake of the Ozark here a few weeks ago, and Jackie, my older brother, my sarcastic older brother, uh, he sent me home about four dozen minnows, and these guys had them eat in about... 48 hours. There was no minnows left. Uh, I can put night crawlers in here and they'll just eat them. They, they would eat them all. <laughs> as many as I'd put in there, they'd eat them. Uh, so, unfortunately, what you can buy from the uh, from the fish, uh, from the pet store, is this Tropical Crisp. Uh, now, they're just like these little bitty shavings here. I'll even let you take a real look at them. I mean, it took me a little bit to figure out what these perch will eat from the store. And they eat these little things. Uh, they eat them actually really well. Let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can get them to... I mean, I usually put... I've already fed them today. <laughs> I already fed them today, and, it's, and then I guess I guess for their treat, besides uh, night crawlers, what I have here is these. It's the same same brand, except for it's in three split containers, and I'm almost out of these here. But uh, these little shrimp, they like these little shrimp a lot. 
Now check it out here. <laughs> anyway, I will go get them some night crawlers tonight so I don't have to uh, continue to fear for my digits. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really enjoying uh, this 125 gallon fish tank. Uh, I really like to, to th these perch are actually, they are really aggressive um, towards one another. Uh, I think I should probably uh, get rid of at least one of them, but I'd like to get rid of at least two and uh, and put in, put some sort of small small bass in here. So anyway, hopefully I can upload uh, some additional footage uh, that I have of feeding time. Uh, sometimes they hit the surface of the water uh, just as hard as a, as, you, as a bass would. I mean, they're they're pretty aggressive, even though they're just a small bluegill. So. Anyway, it's all fun and games, folks. All right, folks. Well, if you've been keeping up with me on Facebook, uh, you know that I've got this 125-gallon uh, aquarium. I'm doing a Missouri River or waterway uh, species of fish in it. Uh, really, right now, I'll have some perch, uh, but have been experimenting on what store-bought food I can feed them um, and really so far earthworms are the only thing that is a guaranteed every time uh, hot dogs work but not all the time <laughs> and experimenting with some different type of goldfish food so uh, this morning I'm adding some algae eaters and also some um, little feeders they're not they're much smaller than your average minnow but anyway we're gonna check it out and we'll put these in here stay tuned all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the algae eaters in first. I think they're going to be way too big for uh, anything to eat them in here. So I've been letting them float for a few minutes. The water is cold. I don't have a heater going because of the natural Missouri fish. So we're going to go ahead and let these guys go. I think that one got a whip of something he didn't like. Alright, let's get these other ones in here. Okay. And I would expect a few of these to bite the dust pretty quick because these guys are hungry. And again, they're only perch, but it's probably going to be my winter fish and then I'll. My fishing season's about over. We're definitely bowing right now, so let's check this out. See what happens here. Alright, let's check it out and see what happens here. No, 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 no. Dang it! Oh, fuck! Oh, God. Next one. Oh, that one got oh. it again. <laughs> that one's the only one getting it. <laughs> that one's the only one getting it. That one's so aggressive. He's like, F you guys. Anytime you're throwing a shit. Here's one that keeps getting it. No He's watching for it. But should Seafoam come up and eat out of your hand? No way. No. Nope. Dude, he's almost... Oh, he almost did. 
I think oh my god! I think a little bit of time he'll do it eventually. If you get him hungry enough. Uh, the poor us. We're here. Okay. Oh my god! That was so. Oh my god! Oh my god! The good thing is that whenever they get in there and the fish don't get them and swim around, I just float to the bottom. Right. Like it. Can't keep it back in water. So whenever they are hungry, there's still food around right there. Always keep these, or are you going to keep them one day? Uh, I will probably be letting them go. Gave more. Okay. Here is a dead one. You take the thing spit out. I don't think they're eating them anymore.
right, folks. Well, I've provided video evidence to you naysayers on uh, Facebook that the purchase bit my finger. You know who you are, the bad bug, a.k.a. Evan. Uh, but what I'm going to do here this evening, uh, it's been about two and a half weeks, at least, at least since I've given these guys a real good feeding. So I'm going to, I got them a nice treat here. I got them some night crawlers better than them trying to take my finger off. So anyway, we'll see if we can get these guys to eat a little bit on camera for you. All right, well, these guys really like these worms. So let me see if I can get first this one over here on the end. He's the biggest. Let's see if he'll come up here. He's also the shyest. Oh yeah. Oh, I got one over here off camera. I'm not careful these get these little two over here on the end won't, won't get any. Here we go. Let's see if he'll come up and get it. disturb these guys too awful much but I want to make sure these get some over here on this side There we go. There's a little. That's the littlest one. These guys were pretty hungry. Might have to stop the video and get some more. Oh, there you see it. I think we're still wanting more. All right, again, folks, just here having a good time while we're all on quarantine during the coronavirus. Uh, and I'm, I'm super happy with this 125 gallon uh, fish tank. I've got these four crop or four uh, bluegill in here. I'd love to get some crappie or um, a smallmouth. Large mouth, you know, something 
little bit smaller, maybe that it, that it can grow in the uh, in the tank. But anyway, these these perch have been a real joy over the winter. Uh, they are definitely not to be taken lightly. They are aggressive towards one another. Uh, again, I might have too many in here for only one 25 gallon, but okay. Well, here we go, round two. Um, so it said 30 in the in the little uh, container. I've seen them pound down some big ones. These are little worms. So, but you do the math. There's four perch uh, and 30 worms. We'll see what happens here. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Round two. Again, I'm just wanting to try and make sure everybody gets everybody gets them some. That's the little one. I believe that's the little guy. I don't have names for them or anything. Maybe I should. I, I sometimes have a hard time telling them apart. Ooh, he came and got it from way over there. All right, little man. Sorry, this handheld is one way I can make sure that I get the action that I'm wanting. I know it's a little bit sometimes hard to watch handheld stuff. But he's the biggest, he's also the, the shyest. Trying to get him some right here real quick. Man. I think that's the one that got my finger this morning. Slowing down a little bit, guys. I don't want to overfeed them. But again, I think there's a little bit of a pecking order here also so it's really hard to get make sure everybody gets even Folks, well, well, that's it. Again, I don't want to disturb these guys too much. I probably have pestered them enough today. Uh, but anyway, I know that they were really looking, needing a good feed. So they'll probably be pretty sluggish for the next few days. But anyway, thanks again so much. We'll see you next time.